So I'm going to use the same question, but in this case, we're going to estimate the ending inventory, assuming a markup on cost of 25%. So I'm going to change these two numbers. So I don't know what my ending inventory is and I don't know what my cost of goods sold is. And I don't know what my gross profit is. So this is what I do know, that my cost times, so if it's a 25% markup, I'd say 125% equals whatever my sales were. So that's 1130000. So that's how we got the net sales. So then if I calculate that on my cost of goods sold, all I have to do then is take my net sales and then just divide that by the 1.25 or 125% because I'm just solving for X here. So that gives me a cost of $904,000. And remember, all I did is I took the sales and I divided that by my markup, so 125%. So now that I have my cost of goods sold, I can calculate my gross profit to be net sales minus cost of goods sold. And so my gross profit is 226. And then I can calculate my ending inventory by taking my cost of goods sold and then just flipping the signs on everything on the opposite side of that line to give me 194,000 in ending inventory. So again, the way that I calculated my ending inventory is I took my cost of goods sold, subtracted beginning inventory, subtract purchases, subtract freight charges, and add purchase discounts. And just to make sure that it does equal to 904,000, I always re-add that and just check that the sum makes uh, the same amount. And that's how we do markup on cost.